What's up guys, T-Mart here, and today I am insanely excited to bring you guys an unboxing video of the brand new PlayStation 4 Pro. So this is the newest console from Sony, and to, unlike the PS4 Slim, which just came out recently, that one was essentially the first PS4, the original one, but in a smaller form factor. This one actually has upgrades to it, so it's significantly more powerful. I think they said that the processor is 30% faster, the graphics card is essentially double, which is crazy, and that's kind of the main focus of this thing. It's meant to kind of push gaming into 4K, so you can do 4K gaming, 4K streaming, all sorts of stuff from this thing. Um, and uh, so it's, it's got the improved processor, improved graphics card, it's also got more RAM, so the other PlayStations, the original one and the Slim, have 8 gigs of RAM, period. This has 8 plus 1, so eight of them are constantly dedicated just to your gaming and then it's got one gig of RAM dedicated to the menus and all the other background processes so overall I mean if you have a 4k TV or a 4k monitor and you want to play in 4k this is what you're gonna need it's also gonna be a significantly more powerful console so it's gonna be a lot snappier a lot quicker work a lot better and uh, it's also got an updated hard drive which is the most important thing to me so this comes with one terabyte standard for all of you guys out there who like to download your games digitally so uh, that's the biggest part for me let's go ahead and hop in the box all right guys here we go I'm not gonna lie as soon as I got home I just wanted to rip this thing out of the box and set it up but I knew you guys would want to see an unboxing video so we're gonna get this thing open Ooh, look at that big fancy box ps4 pro this is so awesome man I'm excited for the new Xbox that's coming out next year too I'm interested to see how those are gonna compare but um for now this is what we have so we're gonna get this open this thing is really packed in there Okay, so right at the top, we have our PS4 Pro quick start guide. I don't think we're gonna need that. I'm gonna pull this open, and there she is right there. Oh my gosh, all right, let's start. You guys know, I like to, I like to start with the boring stuff first and make our way through. So how do you, I'm gonna get this thing open. And in here, we have the power cable, which looks to be the same one that the current PS4s use. We have some headphones, which are not my favorite. They're kind of uncomfortable. There's not too much cushion there. Um, we have a controller charging cable. I think they do, I don't think it comes in the box, but if you're upgrading from like a normal PS4 to a PS4 Pro, I think there's a cable you can use. It might even just be USB to USB that you can plug it into your old one and then plug it into the Pro and then you can transfer everything over via USB so you don't have to re-download everything over the internet, which would take forever. So I need to look into that but I don't think that comes included. And then in here, what else? Ooh, that's the controller. All right. So they just recently updated the controllers a little bit. So this is obviously one of the new ones. They're not too much different, but they are a little bit different. And then we have uh, the HDMI cable. So the PS4 Pro supports HDMI 2.0, I believe, which is significantly better than the normal 1.4 that everything else has. So um, if you want to take full advantage of it and use it on your you know, 4K TV and stuff like that, um, then you want to make sure you, you use the specific HDMI cable that they send you or make sure you get a 2.0 one. So I believe that is everything in there apart from the PlayStation. Ooh, what's, there's some sort of card down here. What's in here? The best place to play? Are we going to get a code for you guys? A code for a giveaway? Nope, no code. I thought it was going to be like a free month of PlayStation or something. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing out. So the box is empty. That's done. And here is the Pro. So I feel like the big difference in the PlayStation 4 Pro is just this extra layer. It's like a PS4, a normal PS4, if you just took one of the layers off. It's like a three-layer piece of pie or something. I don't know. All right, we're going to get this thing open. Ooh, I see a white PlayStation logo up there. The normal PlayStation 4 is all black, so that's going to be kind of interesting. A different change. And let's see, let me unwrap this thing. Ho oh, ho, she's a beauty! Oh my goodness! Alright, so that's the bottom. You guys can see it has all the little pegs that it stands on that are the X, square, circle, triangle, PlayStation buttons. Pretty cool. And let's flip it over to the top. Oh, it's not white, it's like a chrome. That's really, really cool. Can you guys see me? Hey, what's up, boots? All right, that's pretty awesome. On the side, we have the, the triple pie wedge. On the front, we have the triple pie wedge. This thing is pretty sick. 
All right, so that's where you put the CDs in. Now, it doesn't have a 4K Blu-ray player, which I don't understand why they did that. The Xbox One S has it, so this thing supports 4K gaming. The entire reason for this console is for 4K gaming, but you can't 4K game on a disc. It's got the normal disc, so you can only do up to 1080p. The only way you can 4K game is if you download it digitally, which I think is kind of a kick in the face, but it's whatever. Um, on the side over here, nothing really too much. On the back, it's really nice. The optical out port is back. And I can't believe they took that away on the Slim. It's why I don't use my Slim, because that's how I get audio through my headset. So it is back, if you guys are curious about that. It's also got an HDMI out. It's got uh, an aux cable for like your PlayStation camera. It has an additional USB back here. So they added one USB to this thing. The normal PlayStation only has two in the front. This one has two in the front and one in the back. And then you've also got your optical cable port and the power plug, of course. Um, looks like we have a piece of plastic right there. I'm not sure what that was. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It's very, very similar in terms of design. It adds that extra wedge. It does have, I like the Chrome PlayStation logo on the top. I actually think that looks pretty good. And um, apart from that, it's still the same matte black. But I mean, this thing's, it's a beast. Like, like I said, the number one reason why I wanted this thing is to get that terabyte hard drive because I am constantly having to figure out which games I'm going to delete to be able to download the new ones. And uh, now I'm not going to have to do that anymore. So uh, there you guys have it. I hope you, ooh, I just noticed something else. This is the power button right here. It's like a little, it's a line that goes all the way across. So this side of the line is the power button and this side of the line is the eject button. That's kind of interesting. Anyway, there you guys have it. That's the brand new PlayStation 4 Pro. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me go grab my normal PlayStation and we'll do a quick size comparison. Oh man, I love this thing. I'm gonna miss her so much. Anyway, I'm gonna line these up and you guys are gonna see that they're about the same size. So of course the Pro is a little bit bigger because there's so much more in it, but um, it's not much. It's a little longer, a little wider, a little taller, but not by much in any of those. It is a little bit heavier. I don't know how much that really matters though. So uh, it's about the same size. I think they did a good job with keeping the, the size and the form factor relatively small. Uh, but um, there you guys have it. That's the brand new PlayStation 4 Pro. I can't wait to get this thing set up and I'll definitely let you guys know what I think of it. Um, I kind of want to do like a graphics comparison video. So maybe we'll do like Infinite Warfare or something. I think Infinite Warfare already has support for the Pro. So um, that should be pretty cool. And we can kind of see what the difference in the graphics looks like. So if you guys would like to see that, make sure to hit like on the video and let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.